Hey guys, Clumsy here. Welcome back to ATS Onops. Doing a running start today. I found a very exciting job that actually get, makes us go back north to Washington. We're currently in Lakeview in Oregon. And I found something that pays really well. Doesn't happen often that we get these kinds of jobs. So uh, I wanted to grab the opportunity before it's gone. And I'll take you guys with me for the ride. Anyway, how does it feel to be finally debt free? We are free and clear of our debts guys from the previous episode. We have 6,000 in the bank. Not a huge sum but that's all ours. There is no negative number behind it. Yeah, so hopefully this is the start of a new era, let's say. <laughs> no, but yes, uh, thank you for the comments, thank you for the suggestions. It looks like the uh, the most uh, common suggestion is to basically give a little bit of thanks to our truck here, to our rusty, trusty Mac R, and give him a paint job, and maybe even get a sleeper in the process. But those two don't have to be to belong together. Yeah, they don't have to be consecutive or right next to each other so we can save up for paint and then we can get a repaint remove the rusted parts that also includes the the tires the wheels you can see it's all very rusted out the trailer so basically removing the rust from everything really uh, making it brand new looking or as brand new as our trusted mechanics can do and then we'll see where it goes so we'll save up and i'm guessing that we we'll, we'll just need to do this job and we'll have enough for a paint job and then we'll see if we can include a sleeper in addition but yeah i think we'll still stick with the mac r and uh for now and uh maybe let's not dispose it you know we've been through quite something we've been through a lot and we've been uh working hard together so it kind of feels bad to just like throw it out now that we are now that we can afford something new so let's give it a bit of thanks as well right here we go dynamite lakeview to spokane in washington 530 564 miles but look at the uh the price per mile 57.93 normally it's like 30 something i think so this is almost double and if you finish this it will be 33k in the bank just like that i guess this will take maybe two three episodes to finish but no problems there right part is the the fun part is the journey all right so i see the the cones there let's go and uh find a nice angle to reverse it and also in case you didn't notice the the insulation in this cab is very nice if i make that work like so you can hear the engine crisper now in terms of volume i think it's still loud right but that kind of fits this is an old truck insulation isn't the best so the only thing that will happen i guess is mainly a little bit of um, sound attenuation maybe when the windows are closed just a little but mainly I think it's the, the muffling. The sounds will be a bit more muffled when the engines are when the windows are open, are closed. Right now they're open and you can hear the engine as crisp as ever. Right, looking good there. Also, by the way, you guys might have noticed I also did hear the tweak that I did did in ETS2. If you have not watched the previous ETS2 uh, season two episode. And I'll share that to you here. One second, where is the cone? I think I turned too much. So I'll do that here. So I did that tweak where I removed the snow from the roads. I'll teach you how to do that in a bit, in case you have not watched the ETS2 episode yet. Hang tight. Stand by. Let me just uh, position this properly. 
Okay, so I have to align it here. And then turn it up bit by bit. Mm, it might be a bit too much. But yeah, it's a great feeling, right? Not having to look over your shoulder, think about payments and whatnot. This is, if you want to rest, you can rest. If you want to, uh, if you want to work, then work. Whichever is your fancy. Although I must say, it's part of the immersion process. I would hope that eventually we get something more in terms of maintenance. Right now we have like repairs and whatnot, but that's like very minimal, right? Just press a button and everything is fixed and it's very minimal. I would imagine that real owner operators have a lot more to think about. And if you guys know more about that, if you're one yourself, let me know in the comments so we get more input. So maybe we can roleplay some of them. Like what kind of cost do you look at normally? All right, here we go. Let's load up the dynamite so it's somewhere there. And... Uh, Let's see, it might be dark though. Might have to sleep first and then rest, but actually, no, that's not bad. Yeah, some sunset in there. So let's plan the route here. And then we'll see. Okay, that's perfect. That is perfect. So there's a uh, fuel stop in the rest area there, right on the way. 395 north all the way. Looks like some bendy roads. Yikes, there's a viewpoint in there, looks like. We'll check that out. That might be new. And then Spokane. Actually, it's pretty near the dam already. This is the dam, right? Grand, Co Grand Coulee. Yeah, interesting. Okay. So that might take two or three episodes. But all good. One second, huh? All right, there we go. All right, everybody's set. Alan, good. What's the name of this guy again? I'm having a brain fart. Don't tell him that I forgot his name. <laughs> Keddy, Keddy, right? Keddy, yes. Okay. Yes, I never forgot it. I'm I was just testing you guys. All right. Close up the windows. Get that nice insulation for the sound. Make it a bit better for uh, traveling longer distances. It's not overly loud on the ears. Just has that nice humming white noise. Makes it so relaxing for long drives. There we go. And I love floating gears with this. Very good. Okay. Alright, so how heavy is this again? One second. 32,556 oh and by the way I'm thinking of adding something um, I think Will was uh, recommending adding a clock right I think we can add something in there to improve the situation because yeah I don't want to keep popping this up just to get the idea of what time it is so he sent me some screenshots of how his setup looks like and uh, yeah we can try it out might be pretty interesting I would still ideally look for a uh, I'm not sure if it exists though I highly doubt it if you guys know of a cabin accessory that is a an analog clock you know that clock with uh, two hands to show the time that would be the perfect thing or uh, if not then a simple I don't know clock accessory right here we could put maybe a very small one Maybe something like that. Even if it's digital, you let me know. Yeah, we can uh, we can think about it. <clears throat> oh, look at this. Yeah, this is the tweak I was mentioning to you guys. So if you see, we have frosty mod, right? So we have snow all over. But the roads themselves, they are clear of snow. Which kind of looks more realistic based on what I've seen in your photos. The photos you've been sharing with me. Where, it, where it's winter, where you guys are at. If a road is well traveled, and you guys have been pointing out to me as well in the comments, so thank you for letting me know. Because I am, I live, I have been living in a tropical country my entire life. My, uh, oh my goodness, how old am I? 35 years of existence. I've been living in a tropical country, so I would not have the real life knowledge of snow. I've only seen one a handful of times. 
so I trust you guys to uh, help me out with that and yes help me out you did you guys have been mentioning if uh, a road is well traveled then more likely snow will not be there it's either uh, the government is clearing out the snow using plows using salt I guess you, you guys told me salt is not used anymore but different ways of clearing out the snow but in addition it's just a simple act of cars driving through the road taking the snow with them and just like pushing them away at some sort of some sort right if uh, more vehicles if a lot of vehicles pass through that road then chances are the snow there kind of gets trudged on gets uh, taken somewhere else you know physics so normally you wouldn't really see snow on the roads maybe on the sides maybe a little here a little there maybe not this perfect right but i think this is much closer than just having everything with snow so i will keep this uh, setup where it's still frosty still have snow on the trees yeah the the, the, the houses but the road itself is clear of snow i, I really like that um, that uh, mix and how do you do it yes that's probably what some of you are wondering i shared this in the uh previous uh one second huh? i shared this in the ets2 episode but basically you know that frosty mod file that you have that you downloaded frosty.ses something frosty 4.5 ses open that with a zip extractor like 7 zip is what i use and then once you do that it will open up just like any other zip file and then you can uh, go to the material folder yeah look for the material folder inside there is a road folder just delete that road folder because those contain the road textures for snow and when you delete that snow will be gone and the default SES uh, texture will be using it instead right let's go and fuel up here let's see how much it will cost I think I should have enough money this truck has small tanks so all right there you go that's full nice that was quick Let's also hop on by the truck shop here, see what we can do with the, the clock situation. And you guys let me know if you like it or not, okay? Let's see, let's go a bit of window shopping. So not much driving today, just a little maybe. But uh, as always, I want to take you with every step of the journey because as an owner operator, it's not just about driving, right? It's about pimping out your ride, quote unquote. It's about handling finances. It's about managing your truck. And it's, it's all those little details that really make this such a, a cool series to have. At least I think so. Hope you guys like it too. But yeah, so I would like to take you with every part of the journey here. Not just the driving. The driving is a big part of it, but there are other exciting stuff. So exciting stuff. Let's do that. Uh, yes, I think we could do that insurance so we do have some damage already uh, on the wheels on both the truck and trailer we've had damage but that's just normal wear and tear the actual engine and everything is good minimal just maybe some checkups that's good but yeah it's still pretty rusty maybe let's get an idea how much we need to earn right oh actually yeah it's not bad at all and you guys let me know which paint job you prefer okay I'll browse through them just so you have an idea and then we you let me know which one you just type the name here you say in the comment maybe uh, paint job I prefer and then the name rainbow Mac two colors we can change the colors but the, the, the pattern is what's important rainbow Mac two colors red velvet road warrior retro stripes Mac multi R three stripes or the vintage skin or last but not least value liner so feel free to rewind the video and let me know which one you prefer there and we'll uh, we'll see if, if something gets majority then i'll 
think about it but if not then i'll have my preference for sure anyway so inside i wanted to look at the clock here i think it was uh sharing you can add like stuff here like a tablet in here right tablet truck info something like that maybe am i getting it right we could it's a bit large is there a smaller one just for like the clock thing hmm, satellite radio yeah i just need the clock um truck info would be ideal yeah i guess it wouldn't be that bad right i mean it would be nice getting more information of our truck what's happening with it really yeah so we could have something like that maybe um maybe i should review the the image that we we'll sent beforehand but it's kind of late now cell phone no tablet truck info yeah it's a bit too large if it was like super small we could probably do that but yeah this this how that looks that's too much and everything else is just like toys right wind up mouse is one of the uh oh stonehenge one of the rewards from the recent uh, world of trucks events i think from a christmas one maybe yeah but i don't think there is something we can do except maybe this one <laughs> you can have the truck info there i think a certain version of it but i don't think there is something that fits there yeah it might be this one that's best um so we can have that there have that here it's a bit too much we can have that behind which might defeat the purpose but it kind of is nice yeah just have the gps here and then the truck info is here it's not very um in the way the hanging toy is kind of in the way but huh let's see let's see how that looks maybe that's not too bad because i don't want it to be like in your face like this but in that way it's a bit hidden let's see 600 bucks i guess we deserve a little reward for paying off our loan yeah nothing fancy a little fancy tablet just to spice things up oh that's dark um one second do we need to increase the lights no that's increased already maximum hmm. maybe that's the lighting itself yeah that doesn't really work does it <laughs> Uh, I might have to remove yeah I think we can remove the toy or maybe pick a less invasive one a less uh, obstructive one just so we can see the full truck info where's the thing um, one second I can't find it let's, let's go reverse first find that sewer plate a trigger point but yeah, I kind of like having a tablet there. Ideally, the time should be visible if we get to display it well enough. Why is it so dark though? Do I have a mod that changes that? I think it's mainly the lighting. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, so let's see. Truck config. Um, either we replace that. No, I think I'll replace this instead. Just pick a less... Um, I don't think there is anything though. Yeah, I think we'll have to remove it for now, guys. So we'll do it like this. Hopefully that's okay with you guys. If it's not, let me know. You can always adjust it next episode. Yeah, there. So at least we have a truck info. Oh my goodness, that is dark. Where's the time? So we have our current speed and cruise. That's good. There's the time, I think. Is that the only way? I guess, yeah, so that really literally just shows you the clock. But then also it also shows you the gear and the parking brake. I know it's very hard to see, but uh, maybe if we sleep, it's a bit too early though. It's only 6.35. Oh, I don't need to pop up anymore because I see the clock there. Yeah, I guess it's not too bad. I can go with that. The lights here. Yeah, it's just so weird why it's so dark. I'll have to look at that. Maybe later when it gets dark, it will be different. At least it's not too invasive, right? Yeah, maybe. Alright, let's have a look at the map. Uh, where are we, are we supposed to go? We're headed north, definitely. 
But why is it asking me to go that way? I don't get it. Okay. Um, and we should rest, but really... Uh, because uh, if I rest now... By the time I wake up, it will be super dark. So I think we'll just continue. And just see. Oh, there it is. It's getting better now. It gets hit better. There we go. Okay, yes. So how about that, guys? Do you like that? Are you okay with that view? Let me know in the comments, okay? We can also change that to something like fuel economy, which probably will not be good given this uh, rusty truck. Fuel, oil temperature, just check our diagnostic, and now it's dark, oh my goodness, and now it's night driving as well, just that quick, for real, okay, well, at least we get to see the new tablet, the new fancy tablet, and we can check our digital speedometer, not bad, or just have the clock there. I think I'll just have the clock there for now so we don't focus too much on it. Right? But I like that it's not uh, like screaming at you. I like that it has a black background so it has like minimal impact or we can also move that way there if we can. I'm not sure if that's possible and see if we can maybe do something about it so it's really out of the way and I have to look to the right just to see the time. Yeah, that's something we can do. Oh my goodness. I can almost feel how cold it is. 18 degrees. 17 degrees Fahrenheit. How cold is that in Celsius? I would imagine that's in the negative zone already. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's be careful here. Sorry guys, it is pretty dark. So yes, going back to the thing, did I forget? The mat go into the material folder, delete the road, uh, roads folder. I think there's another folder there called roads template. Um, you can also remove that. I think I might remove it because I think that template folder contains the decals. The like the uh, when there's an, an asphalt on the road, uh, uh, you know those those they had like that. It still has snow, right? So it's kind of off, depends on your taste if you like that. Maybe that can provide like the snow accent for you, so it, there's a bit of snow sometimes and that's okay. If you like it like that, like how you saw it just now, then keep the road template folder. Don't delete it, just the roads folder you delete. Alright, but yes, I think... Uh, uh, because I know not a lot of people like the night driving like this. Because the, the sights are a bit of a pain. So I think I might just... Uh, hmm, how do I do this? Because I want to drive. Well, you know what? It's dark anyway. I think I will find a place to stop. And maybe we'll continue next episode. I know there's not been a lot of trucking happening. But I'm looking at the time. And goodness... Time flew as I was trying to go shopping. So we might not have that much time anyway. But we can look forward to a nice adventure with dynamites. Nothing dangerous going to happen there for sure with me driving. So we'll see. We'll see how that looks. But yes, so I will continue on here and I'll bring you guys back when it's daytime okay maybe yeah, I'll probably look for a place to pull over because I am not a huge fan of driving at night as well like even if it's like this it's a bit too much of a horror movie feels for me yeah so I'll probably just I don't know maybe go to the side of the road not that there's a shoulder here and uh, see how we can continue this next episode there's the white thing because I didn't delete the roads template folder but it's not too bad right just provides a bit of snow kind of makes it look like uh, um, kind of makes it look like there's uh, 
a little bit of snow left on the road. Yeah, maybe that's not too bad. Alright, anyway, so yes, I'll leave it here. Sorry guys, not much driving today, but uh, more soon, okay? More soon. I'll uh, record one right after this one. Oops, sorry, my bad. I beams. Okay, so if it, we, we did a running start, we'll also do a running end. So have a good one, guys. Clumsy trucking. Catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.